This area of my fair room has always been a mess, but I've always wanted to clean it up a bit. What used to be here was a trash can, which I can show you. It's right here. It's filled with trash and a bunch of spare flywheels that I had. But it was always really messy and I always wanted to clean it up a bit. So I went online to search for a small shelf that can hold just some stuff. It's not big, but to hold some stuff. And I came across this Vorpexa uh, bookshelf on Amazon. And they gladly reached out and sponsored me to do a small review on this bookshelf. They call it a bookshelf, but I'd say it's more of a just a really small shelf because there's only two layers for books as the top is just for placing stuff. So it's quite a small shelf. It comes in five colors, I think. Come no four I mean black and with black, gold with white, white with white, and also rustic brown, which is mine, with black accents. This shelf is $45 on Amazon, and it's really well made for only $45. Right now, I have on the middle layer, um, one of my Fanimation catalogs, and a bunch of my Fanimation binders, and one Craftmate. And the catalogs are pretty large books, and they fit pretty well. And on top, I need to store my Lutron keypad for, my, for, for the lighting in the room. So that's where I placed it and it looks really nice. So let's start to unbox this and show you how it's installed. This product is $45 on Amazon and this box is pretty heavy for the small bookcase it is. So let's see how it is. So opening it up, it's packed, I'd say pretty well. Um, there's these supports which are metal, which is nice. I'm glad that they aren't plastic. It's not a super heavy duty metal, but it gets the job done for the price. It's only 45. If you have any catalogs, this would be great for it. So I'll finish up the unboxing and show you what parts there are. So here's everything that came in the box. Those are the top layer of the shelf, the, the middle and bottom. These are the shelves themselves. There's three layers. And this is the board behind so that the books can, I mean, won't fall down if you install it. And it also comes with this nice bag of screws and the, the feet that go on the bottom of the bookshelf. So now let's put this together. The instructions that come with it seem to be pretty easy to understand. Here's the front page, and it even includes the Allen wrench used to install this. So the first step is very, very easy. Take the top part and the bottom part and put them together. It's kind of hard to do one-handed, but I will show you once I'm done with it. <laughs> One con I found with the installation process is getting this blue wrapper removed from the chrome plated um, feet on the bookshelf. But it's really a small complaint. They're just kind of hard to remove. But anyways, I've got these two already on the bookshelf. And now I'm going to put this one that I unwrapped onto this lug. It's super easy. Just screw it on. And there we go. Going to do the last one soon. I'm really glad that they included one extra of each type of screw needed to install this. So our first step of installing the boards is to grab one of the smaller wood screws. And they're all Allen wrench screws. Screw, yeah, screws. And it doesn't matter which side because they're both up or down. I picked the rustic finish for my bookshelf because it's the only one with wood tones which i like and anyways you'll just put this on here try to match up these holes and then install the screw which i will do off camera since it's really hard to do on camera as you can see i've got this board on with my allen wrench it's right there i just did it by hand but it still slides a bit so 
before you install it, I'd grab a pair of pliers and then just tighten it like this so that it doesn't slide around so much. And there we go. It's much more stable now. And repeat this three times. No, I mean two times because there's three boards. So that um, you have all three layers, levels, um, good. So now it's time to actually assemble the bookshelf. So grab one of your frames, not two, because that's way too hard. And get your wood screws, the longer ones. They have 19 of them. You only need 18, but it's nice that they include one extra in case you lose one, which I do too often. Uh, so you can grab one and just tighten it by hand like this. And there's three for each side of one, lip, one shelf of the bookcase. Let's see if I can get this in on camera. It's kind of hard to see, especially since I'm doing it on camera, but it's really quite easy. This is probably one of the easiest pieces of furniture that I've ever installed. Unlike some IKEA um, shelves, which are really hard to install. So now you'll want to grab your Allen wrench and just use this to tighten it up like so. And you'll want to repeat this for all the layers on both sides. So I'll see you back soon. And now this is the finished product of the bookshelf. So I put a few things on it. I've put a book, not really, it's a catalog. It's right there and it fits it pretty well. The binders, uh, they are a bit large for it, so they sadly do not fit, but normal books are not that tall, so you'll be fine. Have a, a flake flower on top for decoration. Have a small fan and a small light down below, uh, also for decoration. And finally, I have my Lutron Radio Raw um, keypad on here to control the lights in the room. So for example, I can turn my whole room off. But anyway, it's a really nice shelf. And for only $45, the quality is superb. Like, I could sit on this and it won't break. So that's it for the review of this shelf. Thanks for watching. Bye.